the stories from your community, and the events happening on your corner. This is Toledo News This Morning. Good Saturday morning, I'm Jaden Jefferson, and thanks for joining me for Toledo News This Morning. First off, your first forecast. There's a 60% chance of showers between 9 and 3 today, with a high in the upper 50s and low in the lower 40s. Traffic on southbound I-475 has been diverted just before the bridge over the Maumee River. So what has changed is northbound and southbound traffic are now going to be traveling on the northbound side of that bridge. So do keep that in mind if you'll be heading in that direction. Ronald McDonald House Charities of Northwest Ohio has launched a new hospitality cart program at Prometica Russell J. E. Bide Children's Hospital. On the cart are items to provide comfort, care, and support, including candy, snacks, toys, stuffed animals, books, puzzles, and toiletries. If you're interested in donating to the cart, the Amazon wish list can be found by visiting rmhctoledo.org and clicking Hospitality Cart under the Our Programs tab. After hosting an in-person community update at Imagination Station on Tuesday, the Lucas County Land Bank has debuted a new short video series. The five videos focus on the Land Bank's efforts to revitalize neighborhoods, and they can be found by visiting the Land Bank YouTube channel. Registration is now open for the Coalition on Homelessness and Housing in Ohio's upcoming conference, Housing Ohio. The two-day conference runs May 7th through May 9th at the Hyatt Regency Columbus Hotel. Registration and general conference info is available at cohhio.org. The University of Toledo's 2024 Spring Festival of New Music features the work of Stacey Gibbs and spans two days. It kicks off Thursday with the Large Ensembles concert at 7 p.m. Then, on Saturday, there is the high school and community choral concert at 5.30 p.m. Both performances will be in the Dorman Theater. Happening today at the Main Library branch in downtown Toledo from 2 to 3 p.m., it's a solar eclipse workshop on wheels. It features hands-on activities to quench the thirst of your inner astronomer. And tonight at the Collingwood Arts Center, it's a public ghost time. It runs from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. And you can get tickets by visiting CollingwoodArtsCenter.org under the Attend Events tab. This event is open to ages 15 and up. Friday was opening day in Toledo. But as we all know at this point, the celebration is usually a few days long. The Toledo Mud Hens will be taking on the Nashville Sounds once again today at 4.05 p.m. And by the sounds of it, the Toledo Walleye do not want to be left out of the opening day weekend festivities, which is why it's Fins and Feathers weekend over at the Walleye. Tonight at 7.15 p.m., puck drops against the Indy Fuel. And you can get tickets to that game at ToledoWalleye.com. You already know. Welcome to the cafe. I'm Jaden Jefferson. And today there's actually an agenda because I'm excited to announce on Wednesday, April 17th, Around T Town returns. In this segment, it's been over a year since I've shot a single episode. So there is a lot of catching up to do. Plenty of local businesses that have opened and some local businesses that I've just eyed recently that I'm looking forward to sharing with you. So Wednesday, April 17th is the season premiere. And if there are any businesses that you're interested in seeing profiled, definitely let me know. But in the meantime, have a great Saturday. I'm back tomorrow with an all new Community Focus.